everybody, it's Amy. Today we're gonna to do chair yoga. Chair yoga is a great option for people who might have some mobility issues or limitations, or just for people who want a more gentle yoga practice than what's offered in a typical studio class. It is also great though for people who have to sit and work in the chair a lot. If you're spending a lot of time at your desk in front of a computer, these chair yoga moves are great for you. You can sneak them in all throughout your day. You don't have to do them in order. You can take poses from here and there and just work them into your routine throughout your day. They'll keep your body from getting stiff and inflexible. They'll get your circulation going, they'll relieve stress and tension, and they'll help counteract all that leaning forward that you're doing as you're hunched over a keyboard or looking at a screen all day. So they're really great poses for anybody to do. It's accessible for pretty much anybody and any ability, and it's beneficial for everyone too. So before we get started with our physical movement today, we're gonna do a little bit of a meditation. Just a couple of minutes here, just to get you grounded and relaxed. So go ahead and come into a comfortable seated position. You want to be sitting kind of upright, not slumping over. Go ahead and let your spine extend and your rib cage expand. But don't be so uncomfortable that you're not going to be able to hold this position for a few minutes. So you probably don't want to be sitting cross-legged. Um, it might help if you elevate your hips a little bit, maybe with a cushion or a block, just whatever you can do to be comfortable, but also still kind of upright and aware. So take just a few moments to get into that position. And when you do, just start to breathe. Just begin to notice your breath here. Just let your breath be normal, but just notice it and pay attention to it. If you like, you can bring your hands to your belly. Maybe feel your belly rise and fall as you take a breath. Maybe bring your hands to your chest. One hand to your chest, one hand to your belly. Just noticing that breath. Now begin to let your inhales and exhales become steady. And as you do, bring your hands down to your thighs or your knees, palms up or down. And then if you're comfortable, close your eyes. If you're not comfortable closing your eyes, you can just let them relax ever so slightly and keep your gaze down and soft. But come into those nice, steady inhales and exhales, making them even. So perhaps you inhale for a count of three and then exhale for a count of three. Maybe it's a count of four. Maybe it's only a count of two. Doesn't matter, just as long as you keep the inhales and exhales nice and steady. Nice inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, draw the air all the way down to your feet. Notice any sensations in your feet and your ankles. Notice how the feet feel on the floor. Now squeeze the muscles in your feet, curl up your toes, squeeze them tight, and then release. Let the soles of your feet relax back down on the floor. On your next inhale, draw that air down to your lower legs and your knees. Check in with your lower legs and your knees, see how they're feeling today. Notice any sensations. Now squeeze all the muscles in your lower legs and then let them relax. On your next inhale, draw your breath into your upper legs, into your thighs. Check in with any sensations. Notice how they're feeling today. 
Now squeeze all the muscles in your upper legs. Hug the muscles tight to the bone. Release, let them go soft. Draw your next inhale down to your hips and your pelvis. Notice any sensations. Notice how you feel sitting on your chair or on your cushion. Now squeeze all the muscles in your hips, your glutes, squeeze them tight. Let them relax, release and soften. On your next inhale, draw your breath to your belly. Notice your stomach, your lower back. Notice any sensations. These sensations aren't good or bad. There is no judgment. They just are. So just notice them and acknowledge them. Squeeze all the muscles in your belly in tight, 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 as tight as you can. And then let them relax. Let your belly soften. On your next breath, let the air float all the way down your arms to your fingertips, your hands, and your wrists. Notice any sensations there. Now squeeze your hands, make a fist, tight, 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 tight. And then release, let your hands relax and your fingers go soft. Let your next inhale travel down your arms, noticing any sensations in your arms, lower arms, elbows, upper arms. Now squeeze all the muscles in your arms, hug them in tight to the bones, as tight as you can. And then release, let your arms go soft. Draw your next breath into your shoulders. Across your collarbone, across the front of your chest, into your upper back. Notice any sensations in this area. Acknowledge any feelings without judgment. Now draw your shoulder blades up to your ears, tightening them up as much as you can. And then release, let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Let your shoulder blades relax, fall down your back. On your next inhale, let it feel your head all your nasal passages, your sinus cavity, into your throat. Notice any sensations in your head and your neck. And now squeeze your face, make a face, squeeze it tight, as tight as you possibly can, and then let it relax. Let your cheeks soften, let your jaw fall open and your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. On your next inhale, draw that breath down to your heart. Check in with your heart. Notice any sensations. And now imagine yourself giving your heart a squeeze, squeezing it tight, a nice big hug, and then let it release and relax and open to the world around it. Take a few more moments here just to breathe. Check in with your body and if there are any spots that might still feel some tension or some tightness, imagine them to be pieces of ice and imagine your breath to be a warm liquid. So that as you inhale, that warm liquid, liquid flows throughout your body, melting away any of those icy spots of tension and stress. In 
inhale and exhale. And then inhale, washing away all tension, all stress, all discomfort. On an exhale, releasing that. Begin letting your breath return to normal. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. All right, now we're going to begin our physical movement. I have some props here beside me. I have a block, I have a strap. You don't have to do that. You don't have to have those at all if you don't have them handy, that's fine. If you would like a substitute, instead of a strap, you can use um, perhaps a rolled up towel, a scarf, or a belt. Instead of a block, maybe a stack of books, a shoe box. But again, you don't have to have these props to do this practice. Um, I also have a chair, if you notice, that doesn't have any arms. It allows me a wider range of motion and mobility. And there are a couple of poses that we're going to do that if you were in a chair with arms, they might get in your way and you might want to stand up and do those on the floor. However, again, if you don't have a chair without arms, that's okay. Uh, my only recommendation is if you are on a chair with wheels, for example, you're at a desk and you're at a desk chair, if you can, lock those wheels. That'll keep you from kind of sliding all over the place as you do some of these movements. So whichever kind of chair you're in, go ahead and get your feet nice and flat on the floor. So from your head to your hips, hips to knees, and knees to ankles, ankles to toes, we're looking to get about 90 degree angles on all of those um, joints. So if you need to, if, for example, if your chair is high or if you're shorter, if you need to perhaps use a block or some books to elevate your feet to try to reach that, you can. If you need to pop a cushion or a block or something underneath your hips to do that, you can. But again, the more we can have stacked joints and 90 degree angles, the more comfortable and beneficial it will be for you. But again, wherever you are, just go ahead and plant those feet nice and solid on a surface, floor, block, any surface. And just bring your hands to your thighs. Get any little wiggles out that you need to. And then you're gonna bring your hands down by your side and you're gonna inhale your arms up, exhale them down. Inhale up. Exhale down, we do this a few more times. Inhale, reach up, arms getting longer. Exhale down, keeping those shoulders down. Inhale up, exhale down. Couple more breaths, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. And on your next exhale, take a forward fold. You can bring your hands down beside your legs, tuck your chin to your chest. Then place your hands on your thighs, lengthen your spine, look out about a foot in front of you. Exhale back into that forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look in front of you. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, spine straight, crown of your head lifting forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Go ahead and take a few more of those sun salutations at your own pace while I talk to you here and give you an option. If you find that the size or shape of your chest or belly area makes it a little uncomfortable or difficult to do that forward fold, you can always step your feet out wider. 
So you can inhale up, exhale forward fold, letting your chest and belly come between your thighs. You absolutely have permission to make whatever space is necessary for your body and to make whatever adjustments are comfortable for you. So let's do one more together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, tucking chin to the chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to center. Nice work. So bring your feet back together if they've separated. Inhale, reach up. On an exhale, take your left hand to your right knee for a twist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Take your twist. Again, we're going to do a few more of these with our breath. Inhale up. Exhale into that twist. Inhale up, exhale, opposite side. Inhale, reaching up, exhale, twist to the right, and this time we're going to hold it. Now I take my hand to the back of my chair to give me a little bit deeper twist, but you can keep your hand on your hip or reach underneath your chair if you like. But we're gonna hold this for a few breaths and what I want you to think about doing is on each exhale, just taking the twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale to the opposite side, holding it for a few breaths, taking it deeper on each exhale. And inhale, back up to center. Bring your hands down now. We're going to do a little bit of neck work. Neck work. <laughs> neck work. Neck work. Neck work. Sorry. So go ahead and take your left fingertips to your left shoulder. They're just going to be there as kind of a reminder for you to keep that shoulder down and not let it creep up. And you're going to take your right arm up and over so that your right fingertips are on the left side of your head. And then just gently pull your right ear towards your shoulder. Feeling a good stretch in this outside, the left side of your neck. Inhale, back up through center, opposite side, right fingertips to right shoulder, left arm up and over, very gentle movement, ear towards shoulder. Remember to breathe. And come back up to center. Tuck your chin to your chest. Feel the stretch along the back of your neck. Inhale back up to center. Gently look up. Feeling a stretch along the front of your neck. Inhale back to center. Take two or three more sets of these. Gently chucking your chin to your chest. Coming back through center to look up. Taking your gaze across the ceiling. And then the next time you tuck your chin to your chest, we're going to take seated cat here. So chin to chest and allow your shoulders to roll forward. Get a stretch across your upper back, drawing the belly button in towards the backbone. Inhale back up to center. Look up and take a seated cow. So drawing shoulder blades towards each other. Chest opens up, really taking your gaze back. Inhale back to center. Take a couple of more sets of those. Seated cat. Seated cow. Remembering to breathe as you flow between the two poses. And when you're done, return back to center. Inhale your arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, and flip your palms towards the ceiling. So take a moment here to get really nice and long in the spine. 
all the way from your tailbone up to your hands, really reaching long. Deep breath in, on an exhale, take it over to the right. Feeling a good stretch in your left side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take it over to your left. Keep your feet firmly planted on the surface. Don't let them come up. Inhale back to center. We're gonna take it one more time to each side. You can keep your fingers interlaced, or if you like, I like to grab my block here, set it up beside me. Inhale, my left arm up and over, place my fingertips on that block. Taking my gaze up to my left arm. Inhale, back up to center, opposite side. Hand to the block, right arm up and over. Making sure I keep both hips planted firmly in my chair. Don't let that right hip raise up. And inhale back to center. We're going to um, do cactus arms here. So I want you to inhale your arms up and then bring your upper arms and elbows towards the floor so that you have cactus arms or football uh, field goal arms here. And you're gonna bring your arms up and on an exhale, draw them back down so that forearms, are, that arms are parallel with the floor. Inhale up, draw them back down. If you have a strap or a belt, you can add a little extra resistance here. You can take the arms up, draw it down while you're kind of squeezing and pulling on that strap. Inhale up, exhale down. This just gives you a little extra resistance. But really working here to open up the chest. Again, counteracting all that slumping forward that we tend to do. So just take a few sets of these with your breath. And release. I'm gonna do a little bit of wrist work here, stretching out our hands, getting some mobility in our wrists. Again, this is a great uh, pose to do if you're typing a lot or if you have some carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms. So just take your hands in front of you, stretch them out as wide as you can, fingers getting really long, and just close your hands, make a fist, open them back up. So just doing blinker hands here, really getting a good stretch. You can feel a stretch all there along the base of your knuckles, across your palms. Doing this a few times at your pace. Now you're going to extend your right arm in front of you, palm facing out, fingertips facing up, left hand just gently pulling back. Feeling a stretch here along your forearm. Now flip those fingers towards the floor, using the left hand to gently pull the fingers back towards your arm, getting a stretch along the top of your wrist. Opposite side, extend the left palm, gently draw the left fingers back towards you. Turning the fingertips towards the floor, gently curling them in towards your forearm. Now just take some wrist circles. Make sure you go in both directions. and then come back to center. We're gonna do some leg lifts here. So you can kind of scoot to the edge of your chair if you've prepped back. Bring your hands to your hips. You can put your fingertips in that hip crease there. And you're just going to extend your right leg, bring it back down. Extend it, bring it back down. Three or four times with your breath. Extend that leg and this time point and flex your foot. Trying to keep that spine long and lengthened. If you want to do some ankle circles here in each direction, you can. And then return the right foot to the floor. Extend your left leg, bring it back down. Really getting long with that leg. So pressing the foot towards the front of the room or away from your body. Leave the leg extended, point and flex the foot. Circle the ankles. 
and bring it back down. Take a second here to get rebalanced on your sits bones. Spine nice and tall again. A little bit of balance work here. Extend that right leg and reach your left hand forward. Reach it towards that right foot. Return it down. Extend the left leg, right fingertips reaching for that left foot. Bring it down. Take this a couple of more times on each side, keeping that spine nice and long. And then return to center. Now we're going to practice our warrior poses. So this is one point where if you have arms on your chair, this is probably going to be difficult for you. So you might want to stand up for these. Otherwise, you can kind of scoot very much to the edge of your chair and see how much room you have to move. But you're going to bend your right leg, right foot goes to the side, left leg extends behind you. Keep that left foot, I'll move my water bottle here. Keep that left foot flat on the floor. Make sure you've got some weight in the outside edge of that left foot. Arms extending long out from your shoulders. Shoulders are facing forward, chest is open forward, and then take your gaze out over your right fingertips for warrior two pose. You can bring your left hand to your hip or to your thigh or let it slide down your leg. Flip that right palm, inhale that right arm up and over. Reverse warrior. Inhale back to warrior two. Bring that right forearm down to your thigh, left arm up. Take a look up at your fingertips. Inhale back to warrior two. Face forward. Take a wider stance here. So your toes are pointing out just a little bit. Knees are open up wider. Again, come to the edge of your seat. Fingertips in those hip creases again. Get your spine nice and long and then take it forward with a flat back. And then when you get to your edge, when you pinch forward as far as you can, you can release your fingertips towards the floor or onto a block and tuck your chin towards your chest. If you'd like to get a little bit deeper stretch here, you can walk your fingertips back between your legs, maybe even depending on your chair. Grab the legs of your chair, take it a little bit deeper. Bring your hands back to your hips. Nice flat back again, slowly rise up. We're gonna take our warriors on our other side now. So left leg stays bent. Right leg extends long, trying to keep, again, those 90 degree angles, the knee over the ankle. Arms extend, keep those shoulders down. Gazing out over your left fingertips. Right hand to your hip or your leg, inhale the left arm up and over. Inhale back to center, left forearm to the left thigh, right arm up, fingertips reaching towards the ceiling. Getting that right long extended and long, right leg, excuse me, extended as long as you can. Inhale back up to warrior two. Again, turn towards the front, keeping your toes pointed out slightly, nice wide stance. And you can bring the left forearm to your thigh, or you can bring your hand towards the floor or onto a block. And just inhale those right fingertips up towards the ceiling for a gentle twist here. Come back through center, opposite side, right arm down, left arm up.
and inhale back to center. Nice work. So we're going to take a chair twist now. One more twist here. Feet can be about hip width apart. However, remember, if you need to bring them a little bit wider to accommodate your body to make your own space, you are more than welcome to do that. Inhale your arms up overhead, bring your palms together, hands down to your heart, really pressing those palms together so that you've got some energy in your arms. Take a deep breath in and on an exhale, bring your left elbow to your right leg. Keep pressing those arms together. Inhale back to center, opposite side. Right elbow, left leg. Inhale back to center. Release your arms, shake them out if you need to, if you need to get any wiggles out. We're gonna take pigeon pose next. So keep your left leg planted on the floor. Your right leg is going to bend. Right ankle rests on your left knee. Now, if you, what I want you to think about is letting that right knee drop towards the floor, okay? So you might even put your hand there as a little reminder, just to let it relax towards the floor. Keeping that right foot flexed if you can. Take a deep breath in, get that spine nice and long. Exhale, hinge forward from your hips. And again, when you get to your edge, tuck your chin to your chest, let your back curve and just relax into the stretch. Slowly roll up. Switch our legs out now. So right foot on the floor, left leg bends, left ankle on right knee, keeping that left foot flexed. Letting the left knee fall towards the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, take it forward, leading with your chin and your chest. And then relaxing into the stretch. Slowly inhale up and return that left leg to the floor. Now we're going to do our hugging our knees in to our chest. So you're gonna start by lifting your right leg, interlacing your fingers around your right knee or your right shin, and then just gently drawing your knee in towards your chest. You can bring your chest down to meet your knee, hugging it all in, Really pulling that belly in, so feeling some action in your abs there. And release. Opposite side, left knee into the chest, nose towards the knee. Release. Take about two or three more of these, whatever feels good to you, with your breath at your pace. Really drawing everything in and then releasing. Again, you have the option of opening your leg up a little bit further to your side if that feels good to you. And then return back to center. One more time, inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale into a forward fold. This time, everybody can separate their legs a little bit. And I want you to let gravity do the work here. So let your arms fall heavy out of your shoulder sockets. Let the crown of your head fall towards the floor, tucking your chin to your chest. Just enjoying this forward fold and this moment of self-reflection. Bring your hands to your lower legs or your thighs. Slowly, slowly, slowly roll up. And 
Now you can bring both hands to your belly again, maybe one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart, whatever feels good to you. One more time, close your eyes or let them soften. Let your breathing return to normal. And just enjoy a few moments of stillness and silence. Slowly, gently open your eyes. Let your arms relax by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up. Bring your palms together and your thumb tips down the center of your body to your heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. It's an honor to be your teacher, and it's also an honor to learn from you and your practice. Until we meet again, may the universe bestow her blessings on you and everything you do. Thanks so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed that practice. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Or you can email us here at uh, info at wlryoga.com. We'll be glad to answer any questions for you about this practice, about yoga in general, about the studio. We're happy to connect with you at any time. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.